<clears throat> oh, this girl, this ain't nothing. I just wore this with my cap and gown <laughs> because for my 24th birthday, I graduated from college. Hey, hey, do your dance, hey, do your dance, hey. Can I fit this on my bun? For your girl's 24th birthday, I walked that hill, boo. After all them years, more than four, okay? I finally graduated and I was able to tell all them people, peace. Graduation was the highlight of your entire year. And let me just say congratulations, I am so happy for you. Because you did something that not everybody does. You put in a lot of work. A lot of sleepless nights, which I'm not proud of, by the way, because I mean I was procrastinating. But you did that thing, girl. You got your Bachelor's of Science in Clinical Laboratory Sciences. Girl, where they do that at? And at the highlight of your celebration, guess what? You're finally about to set your heart right and break up with old dude. Woo! You ready? It's crazy because you try to break up with him at least four to six times before this time came, okay? Remember you kept calling him, talking about we done, we through, and all he could say was, all right, cool. But you kept calling him back because your emotions were so attached to him, your body was attached to him. And all you can think was, how in the world we gonna spend four years together? And all you gonna say is, all right, cool, fine then. See, this is why God was prepping your heart and teaching you your value and your time, your body, your mind, your emotional state. Because peep game. The reason why guys are able to easily walk away from these relationships, these non-committed relationships, is because they didn't invest much to get in it. We women get so upset, so uptight, and so hurt because we give these boyfriends wife privileges. We put our all into these relationships and we invest all of us into it while they receive all of us. But girl, I got a whole bunch of videos talking about love, sex, relationships. Go on and go to Shea Butterly YouTube page after this. So you finally did it. That very summer, you told him that it was done, that it was over. And let me tell you, that pain hit you like a freight train coming straight ahead, full speed. I think it took you about a good five to six months just to gain your wind back, just to gain your emotional stability back. Because that was the culmination of all of your disobedience, of you investing all of your goodness into something God never permitted for you to do. Ladies, here's a little truth for you that I got from a wise woman. When you treat your dating relationship like a marriage, the breakup will feel like a divorce. Woo! She was telling the truth. But even through it all, God was still faithful. See, that's why I rocks with him. He was loving on you, protecting you, encouraging you, and still speaking that truth to you. Yep, you went through your withdrawal phase. You were fiending for him emotionally. But what kept you going was the future ahead of you. What kept you going was this very thing that you kept saying to yourself. What I am reaching for is greater than what I'm leaving behind. What I'm reaching for is greater than what I'm leaving behind. What you are reaching for is greater than what you're leaving behind. That was my truth for that year. And you gotta rehearse that thing. See, if you thought that that was good, if you thought that he was fine, if you thought that he was everything that you wanted or needed, outside of God's will, just imagine the beautiful things of what God's gonna do within his will, boo. So this greater, oh yeah, you just opened the door for that greater to come. Girl, I ain't got no words. You bad. And guess what? You're about to start making so much more content too because you've learned so much. And because you allowed God to really open up your heart to his goodness and for what he has for you, a whole bunch of good stuff just started to pour out of you. Things that you can look at today and still be encouraged by. So yeah, you got a little taste of the career life. I mean, after graduation, you went straight to work. Y'all see what they don't warn you about is the day after you graduate, it's like a whole bunch of bills come out of nowhere. They just fall out the sky with your name on it. 
I don't even know where they came from, but that ain't right. That ain't even right. And by this time, you had already picked up your first microphone to speak God's truth and to minister to people, which you were scared out of your mind, by the way. Remember that time when the pastor called you up to pray? What, maybe about two or three years ago? And you started crying in front of the whole congregation because you were so afraid? I mean, praying and crying at the same time. They probably were so confused. But God is going to see you through, through all your fears, insecurities, doubts. Because guess what? That may have been the first time you picked up a mic, but it sure wasn't going to be the last. So I just want to say one more time, congratulations for graduating from college and from choosing yourself, choosing God before man. I know you're letting yourself heal because truth be told, it will be years before you even think about dating another guy. But that's not a bad thing. But it would be some of the most beautiful years that you have experienced in your entire life. Let me leave you with this solid truth. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and he saves those who are crushed in spirit. Yeah, you really felt that truth that year. But his commitment, his word, his intimacy with you, and the fact that he was with you every step of the way made the healing process even more worth the while. Can I leave you a lesson to take with you to the next year? Now this is a lesson that you're gonna find yourself struggling with over and over again, but it gets better, I promise you. Girl, stop stalling. When God say break up with him, break up. If God say move, move. If God say do it, do it. If he say don't do it, don't do it. Y'all low key, I'm still learning, I'm still learning, but I'm getting better. So enjoy being 24, 24, because it only gets better from here. Peace.